Welcome back to Shadow of the Earth Tree. My name is Ricky and this is Robin. Last time we finally unlocked another part of the map, although it wasn't the part of the map I thought we would be unlocking. We still unlocked another part of the map. We also got started in a very strange quest line that I don't really even know how to describe. And today we're going to head into the Shadow Keep because we can't keep putting it off. Before we do that, any of that though, I have to talk a little bit about some of the things I did since I last recorded. Now, the first thing I need to tell you is that I did beat the Black Jail Knight. It was a pain in the butt, but I beat him. Basically, what I did was I used Milady as a poison weapon and then just repeatedly used Lion's Claw over and over and over again until he died. That's going to be a bit of a theme here. So at the Church of the Suck, or Crusade as they intend to call it, there was an invader. We had fought this invader in that first legacy dungeon, and then he showed up here. I noped out of it. I went back and killed him because there's a key for a room in the Shadow Keep. So I killed him by, you guessed it, Savage Lion's Claw, Poison Milady. It works. It's not going to work all the time, but it works on, like, NPC-sized enemies. And last time we came across Bonnie Jail, and I didn't do it, so I went back and did it. It was weird, but not hard, just weird. And last but not least, I respect. So what did I do for this respect? Well, I lowered strength from 18 down to 12, and I lowered arcane from 51 to 50. I put two points into faith to get it up to 25, so I can use that lightning spell we got recently with just the talisman. I don't need the flask or anything. And then I was also able to put vigor up to 60. So cross our fingers, we won't get vigor checked too much more. So one other thing I do need to talk about is that I sort of already went into the Shadow Keep, and there's two things you need to know about it. Number one, the platforming section that I thought was going to be really annoying platforming was. And then there were some dumb fire enemies and I got real frustrated. But I recorded all of this. Yes, I have already actually tried to record this episode, this exact episode. I got so frustrated I went, nope and stopped recording. And then I made the decision that I don't want to go that way, so I have to beat the stupid golden hippopotamus. And I did. And it sucked. I did figure out one thing. When it does its charge grab attack, if you run at it and then dodge twice away, you could avoid it pretty, re pretty readily, as long as you see it coming. The other thing is that you can summon two different NPCs for this fight. And I did and mimic tier because you can do that i didn't actually think you could do that but apparently you can do that two npcs plus mimic tier and it still wasn't enough <laughs> most of the time so now that i have wasted seven minutes of my time i won't be seven minutes of your time we are going to uh head into shadow keep before we head into the shadow keep we're going to do this so this guy won't talk to us and i didn't look this up i just happened to see someone talking about this online this is the guy who gave us a note and says that we need to meet him. And he gave us this gesture. So if we do this gesture. Okay. If we do this gesture much closer to him. There we go. Okay, he's just a straight up boss. Uh-oh. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Okay, so he's one of them kick thingies. Okay. No, I'm tired of Infinity Boss. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this. The Lion's Claw is working. I'm going to make it bleed Lion's Claw. Hang on, run. Nope, there's, I don't know how to avoid that. Get far, far, far away. How did that miss? How did that not connect? Also, I hate the camera angle right here. Nope. I didn't need to do the follow-up. Why didn't that stagger him? How much... 
How much hyper armor does that move get? No, you don't get to use destructo discs. Plus, they suck. So if you get to do a sh stupid ton of damage with them... That move gets too much hyper armor. Go, okay. Finally. Dry leaf arts and his hat. It is a hand to hand weapon. I don't know. He did cool jumping in the air. Yeah, you can jump in the air and do fun kick things. This is going to do no damage to them. You need to not fight them. More importantly, Big Hat Logan Hat. Okay, not quite Big Hat Logan Cat. Nope, that looks stupid. It looks stupid on him. I don't know why I thought it would look good on me. Yep, here we go. Killed the stupid thing, and now we get to figure out what the heck is going on in here. Hello, ghost thing. No, such a thing is utterly inconceivable. We have not been abandoned. Mesmer is the son of Queen Marika. Hmm. Her grace would never abandon her own flesh and blood. Uh... I mean, you'd think that, but she kind of abandoned all of her other kids. She got a couple of them. Yeah, come on. I'm so glad you did the war cry. Ah! Oh, there's another one. Okay. Now, finally, you. No? I wanted to... I mean, that's fine. Whatever. He died. That's what I wanted to do. He's overlooking this courtyard with what appears to be a halig tree in it. Alright. Ooh, twin blade! Okay, let's cool. Okay. Let's cool Twin Blade. Okay. Twin Blade. Now. Drop your Twin Blade. Where did this guy come from? He did not drop his twin blade. That dude just stand in there. This feels like where I'm supposed to go. But there's stairs right here that lead down this way. Oh, never mind. Um, I've already been through here. Wow, okay, they just ganged right up on me. I should have just wailed on them. Why are you just standing there? These are weird. Okay, this time he's decided he wants to fight. What the heck? Why am I targeting someone way out there? Okay, the targeting in the deal, they have changed the targeting. Like, why can't I target those those dudes out by the by the tree? Oh! Of course. Again. Why am I breaking this dude's AI? Never mind, we're just gonna get out the stupid twin blade.
We're going into the courtyard. If I have to go up that way, I'm just gonna run. Talisman of Lord's Bestowal. Increases poise after using a flask of tears. If I'm fighting one of these guys, the best way to fight one of these guys. Is with a big, powerful, bleedy weapon that also breaks their stance. Also, he dropped something, which was a smithing stone seven. I'm sorry, I just got three golden vows. Uses FP to increase attack and defense. They have made golden vow, the most overpowered spell slash ash of war in the game, into a consumable as well. Oh, twin blade jerk. That's cool. I didn't. I didn't want to do this video game. There we go. Of course, he didn't drop his freaking. Weapon, maybe he doesn't, I don't know. Ladder that goes up, which means inevitably it will go somewhere I don't want it to go. I just want a side of grace. Okay. So this is that same room. Oh, more golden vows. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Okay, I didn't die. Oh, that guy has a... If they come out here, I might actually be able to kill them. Haha! Okay. Down you go too, but you didn't drop anything, so that's fine. You did, please. Great bow. All right. Th this is just the great bow from the base game. This is just the regular great bow from the game, right? That this is just kind of not the best great bow in the game. Why? Oh, good God. They're going to kill me. Shadow Militiamen Armor. So these are not Vulgar. These are Shadow. I mean, I will say it looks better than the Vulgar Militiamen. Okay. Oh, it's one of those stupid douche fire guys. Just give me a sight of grace. Just give me a sight of grace. Oh, thank goodness. I've already activated this sight of grace. All I have done is gone in a complete freaking circle. But, I don't have to fight any of those other guys. Just a bunch of militiamen. Learned my lesson. We will descend the traditional way, sliding down. Domain of Dragons painting. Like, I'm going to do the paintings. Maybe I'll look up where the paintings are and do them, because I already have one. That's two. Can I go past this? Like, what happens if I just keep going this way? Still haven't run out of ledge. Somber eight. Another little waterfall thing. And end of the line. All right. I thought for sure that would be a imaginary wall. We've only come across one in the DLC. That does not mean there aren't more. We've just only come across one. Also, somewhere here is a way to get to that final map piece. I assume it's the final map piece. I can't imagine that little tiny section of map we have left to unlock is two map pieces. These dudes have lots of stance. I fought them.
Okay, I should have used this weapon apparently. Oh, still alive. I like the sword. That sword looks cool. The other ones had little tiny dumb daggers. Eight! Eight smithing stone twos. They really want you to improve every single weapon you find in here. Specimen storehouse. Another side of grace, thank you. Oh, these guys want some. I'm sorry. They may not have all wanted something. That's okay. Rune arc. Yeah, I just want everyone to know. I've had Melania's great rune up there. Not active, just up there the entire time. Just the entire time. I have not ever thought about using it. I have 17 rune arcs, though. I really probably should at some point start using it. Okay, I feel like we were on the first floor. I do feel like we're headed in the right direction to get that the way I want to go. Okay. There's a pop. Okay, hitbox. Couldn't exactly roll back, which is what I really want to do when that when that move happens. One of the things I like about this is it has a heavy attack. It's a jumping heavy attack, two-handed jumping heavy attack. You don't get those when you're just two-hand when you when you're power stancing. There we go. That was not worth it. That was a waste of my time fighting that one. Oh good, it's this gross enemy! This was in the Bonnie Jail. They do very little damage, thankfully. He says. Tempting fate. But honestly, a million times, I'll take these a million times over. Because again, they don't do a lot of damage. They do have a grab attack that does minimal damage. And they do shoot this stuff out that staggers me. There's the grab attack. Don't worry. Holy crap. Okay, it did less damage in the Bonnie Jail. But yeah, it does shoot stuff at me occasionally too, which is not fun. They're, they're easy to dodge. They do okay. Kind of forgot about that move. Um. Oh, that's that's not good. That's not good. We didn't sit at the. Well, I'm stupid. Should get some healing from the Godskin Swaddling Cloth. Yeah, is you? Out of that. Nope, I died because I was an idiot. That's on me. That's just completely on me. So I guess I could just jump down here. Might be faster. go he's dead no you stop you stop i said stop you will obey me you stupid dumb jar i don't know where the heck we're going right now i mean my attempt was to get into that like upper area roll 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 Okay, so I'm starting to wonder if these things are just the jar shard inners without the jar. Now see, that's actually how much damage I expected it to do. I just want to see if the milady daggers him more. Not really, no.
Really, game? Really? Thank you. Why are there three chairs here? What the heck room am I in? Is that a grace? Aha! So this feels like a good place to stop. Next time we're going to explore this, like, upper plateau area. This has been Shadow of the Earth Tree. Thank you for watching and come back soon for more Shadow of the Earth Tree.